Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rudder Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate your time and your viewership. And in today's video, I'm very excited to be reviewing, I think my third fragrance from Electimus London. This one is called Puritas. I've also done a review of Mercurial Cashmere and I believe Fortuna. So I'm gonna leave links to those videos down below, but today we're gonna be focusing our attention on Puritas, a complex incense, floral, spicy fragrance. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin with my fragrance review of Puritas by Electimus London, and I tell you all about this fragrance, the smell, the performance, all that good stuff, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews just like this, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you got to do is click on that red button down below. And of course, if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, it would really mean a lot to me. And so, Buritas, this is a fragrance that came out in 2020, so just a year ago. It's actually inspired by the Roman goddess Vesta, who is the goddess of purity and elegance. And of course, that says a lot about this perfume. And so whenever I think of purity, I think of really clean ingredients, maybe some white florals, maybe jasmine, tuberose, gardenia. I also think of musk. And so I'm actually getting a little bit of both of those in here, but I think the most surprising thing to me is that I'm getting an ingredient in here that I totally did not expect, and it is frankincense slash olibanum. I absolutely love the ingredient. I think it's very calming, grounding, meditative. Of course, some might say very spiritual as well. And of course, given my experience with the brand Electimus London, I know these fragrances are all really, really high quality, really long lasting and really complex. So I really wasn't expecting anything different from this one, but I'm going to tell you all about this fragrance and also how I think it stacks up against some other titans in the industry that also feature a prominent incense note like Incense Avignon by Comme des Garçons or even Full Incense by Montal or Cardinal by Healy. And I've just smelled so many frankincense fragrances. But in any case, let's start things off with the presentation. So of course, with a name like Puritas, you're expecting a fragrance that smells quite pure and of course, quite charming and elegant as well because it is inspired by the Roman goddess Vesta. And she was the goddess of purity and elegance. And there is something really classy and really elegant about this one, which I really like. And despite the fact that it's inspired by a Roman goddess, uh, I think it's a perfectly unisex fragrance because frankincense is one of these unisex notes, especially as I've encountered it in other perfumes. Like I know I mentioned three in the beginning of this video, but it opens up kind of peppery. And so it's peppery, but then I also think there's like a dash of pink pepper in here as well, which gives off a bit of a rosy vibe. And so that floral tonality seems to come through even in the very opening of this fragrance. So you get a little black pepper, you get a little pink pepper, it's a little rosy, it's a little floral, and it's also a little starchy as well. And the reason why I think there's a little more tuberose and jasmine in here is because if you think about tuberose and fragrances like Tuberose New by Tom Ford, part of the private blend line, it has this very sort of... I don't want to use the word powdery, but it has this very starchy feel about it. And the olfactory texture is very unique and very distinct. And so I can usually pick up on tuberose when I smell it in fragrances. There's also one by Histoire de Parfum called Tuberose One Capricious. And this one gives me a bit of that irisy, orris butter tuberose vibe. But again, tuberose is really at the top. If there is jasmine or iris or any other clean white floral ingredients are kind of in the background. And yeah, wow, this peppery tuberose note really comes through. And I think that that's the accord that really conveys the purity and the elegance. Now, in terms of the frankincense slash olibanum that's used in here, I always mention that frankincense has a bit of a lemony pine smell. And so I'm getting something lemony from this. 
Of course, it doesn't last a very long time, but it's certainly characteristic of the frankincense note. And I'm also getting that pine quality from this fragrance as well. Nothing overly green, so it's not going to remind you of an 80s powerhouse like Polo Green or Dracar or anything like that. But it does give off a bit of that incense quality, which I'm really loving. And it's one of these clean incense notes. And so, the reason I use that as a contrast to perhaps some of the other incense fragrances on the market is because when you think of incense, you typically, or I typically, I can only speak for myself, I think of smoke. And so, you know, a lot of the other incense fragrances do kind of have that touch of smoke about them. I mean, I know there's a Gucci fragrance called Midnight Stroll, which has that sort of birch tar, Kate oil vibe about it. And so that one comes across a little smoky. And then of course you have fragrances like Interlude by Amouage, which is ultra smoky. But I think in terms of comparing it to fragrances like Cardinal, by Healy or Full Incense by Montal or Incense Avignon by Comme des Garcons, which is a Bertrand du Chafour creation, one of my favorite fragrances ever. So glad I own that one. This one not only comes across cleaner, but it also comes across more complex. So I think in the case of those other fragrances, while they are very true to form, very realistic and organically smelling frankincense fragrances, I think there's so much of an emphasis on the frankincense that it might come across as a little bit of a unilateral, plain fragrance that some might even view as a novelty fragrance. I think in the case of Puritas or Puritas, I think it comes across a lot more complex where you do have those resinous qualities in the base, you do have the clean musks, you also have the florals, you have the spicy aspects, you have that, that tuberose tonality in the heart, and then residing in the base, of course, you have that really high quality olibanum note, which can be perceived from the very opening of this fragrance. And in my experience, I've worn this on skin and clothing on a number of occasions. Uh, this actually lasts, in terms of that olibanum note, it lasts for many, many hours, seven, eight, nine hours, which is something that can be said about many of their other fragrances, including Mercurial Cashmere, including Amber Acalaria, including Fortuna, including Vixen and many of the other fragrances that I've tried by them. But this is awesome. You must love frankincense to really appreciate this fragrance. And I truly do love frankincense. And I'm a huge fan of this fragrance. So super stoked to have this one. And also this is from their Lustrous collection. And so if you do take a look at um, Electimus fragrances up online, you'll see that they're actually divided into a few different collections. This one has the frosted glass appearance on the bottom portion of the bottle here, and that indicates or signifies that it's part of the Lustrous collection. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, like I said, in terms of comparing it to some other incense-based fragrances, specifically incense fragrances containing the note of olibanum, this is far more complex. Uh, this is not a fragrance to be viewed as a novelty scent. This is not unilateral or linear or plain or simple. It's actually non-linear and very complex, but it has a very high quality olibanum note resting in the base. And so I love this one. I think it's very grounding, very meditative, but also very functional as well. So you can wear this casually, you can wear it dressed up. I don't mean to jump the gun here. I'm talking about versatility, right? In terms of the longevity, 10 plus hours on your skin, it lasts a very, very long time, uh, but it is non-linear, so it is going to change quite a bit. That peppery aspect seems to die down after a while, and of course that lemony nuance, which is coming from the frankincense, that also kind of shapes away or kind of dissipates as you're left with more of that sort of musky, clean, floral, ambery, dry down, which never veers in the direction of sweet. So I know for a lot of people, that's gonna be a good thing. In terms of the projection, this projects very well for the first three hours of application, and it didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about that seven, seven and a half, eight hour mark, depending on the skin that you have, of course, if you have dry skin, oily skin, if you moisturize, all that stuff is going to directly influence the performance of the fragrance and any fragrance for that matter. In terms of the versatility, I can't really see this being a youthful scent. I think you really need to be a fan of niche perfumes and a connoisseur of fragrances to really appreciate this one because it's not your typical blue designer freshie. And so this is a very complex incense fragrance and one that I love. I think it's perfectly unisex and I think it 
it does convey that element of purity really well that you can pull this off in the hotter weather but i think that frankincense and the musks and that spicy quality about it really makes this appropriate for the colder weather as well and so you can really wear this one all year round and i do think there's something quite formal about this fragrance so i would like to wear it to work or to a formal scenario if i'm going out on a date or to a nice restaurant it's probably not the type of fragrance that i would wear casually just because i know sometimes we think that we're wasting a fragrance uh, my advice regarding that is if you love it just wear it you know oftentimes i want to wear a really expensive fragrance and i tell myself oh i should probably wait until the right occasion if i love it enough i'm just going to wear it because i want to experience the smell and i don't want it to sit on my shelf for years before i find the right opportunity to wear it right okay thank you now i'm done venting <laughs> absolutely gorgeous beautiful box beautiful bottle that frosted glass look and i love how they all look kind of different in terms of the subtle changes to the presentation my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of frankincense fragrances and you want to experience something that's very long lasting very high quality will definitely get you noticed and also something that has some complexity to it and some non-linearity to it definitely check out puritas by electimus london I love this fragrance so much and I'm gonna be wearing this one a whole lot when the winter kicks around or the fall at the very least because fall is coming first I'm definitely gonna be wearing a lot of Amber Acularia such an amazing fragrance but thank you all so much for joining me today thank you so much for tuning in that was my fragrance review of Puritas by Electimus London if you own or have tried this fragrance please let me know what you think leave a comment down below and for that fact if you've tried anything from this brand let me know leave a comment down below I always love the interaction and again if you took something of value from this video and you're new to this channel I would really appreciate it if you would consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it and also if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm it would help out tremendously thanks again for watching love you all we'll see you soon bye